What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to talk about how to build confidence in math. Now, I've been a high school math teacher for 10 years, and I've had plenty of test days, and I've had plenty of students show up on test days super anxious, and before the test even starts, they're saying things like, all right, here we go, time to fail this thing. Let's just get this over with. And then they fail the test, and what happens is sometimes for the next test, they say, well, I failed the last one. I'm probably going to fail this one, so why should I even try? And then they just keep failing math tests, and this absolutely crushes their confidence. So... Before I jump into how do you build confidence, I want you to know I was a math major and I failed math tests before. I feel your pain. I've gotten a zero on a math test. I've gotten in the 20s. I've gotten in the 50s. But I was able to build confidence in math once I started practicing consistently, not just the day before the test or two days before a test. I was practicing every day. And a general rule is you want to practice an average of 30 minutes a day. And what happens is when you practice consistently, you may not see results right away. And that's going to be frustrating. You may keep failing math tests for weeks or months, but eventually you're going to turn a corner and you're going to pass your first math test. You may break 80 for the first time. You may break 90 or get your first hundred. And the reason is once you start practicing consistently, let's say you have to know these 10 things for a test. When you are approaching test day, you've already been practicing these 10 things consistently. So then you don't have to put in as much effort as the student who didn't practice it at all. To have to learn 10 things the day before or two days before is a massive task, especially as math gets harder. But if you're practicing consistently, then as the test approaches, you're able to just practice at a casual pace and you're like, all right, I've already done so many of these that I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get this right on test day. And then you're showing up to the test. It's okay to still be anxious on test day. That doesn't necessarily go away. But what I used to tell myself was, okay, I've been practicing consistently and I've gone through everything that's going to be on this test enough. The rest is just up to chance. Let's do this. Just bring this test. Like, let's just get this over with. Let's do this. And I would just go into fo like this focus mode during the test. And I was taking the test with confidence saying, all right, I've done about 10 of these before and I've been practicing, practicing this for the last few weeks. So here we go. And I'm just doing the math and I'm cruising through. So once again, if you want to build confidence, try it out. Practice an average of 30 minutes a day, but be patient. Give it time to take effect. You will get better at math.